it's time to look at some of the other parachains in the Dotsama ecosystems because you can't cover everything in one video right there are just too many of them and so i'm going to be splitting it between different videos and then of course i'll be doing videos about general crypto news but also videos about uh, maybe avalanche and also cosmos because we want to be talking about those ecosystems as well so i want to continue to cover uh, pretty much everything that's around you know maybe not cardano because there are a lot of people already doing that but today let's take a look at integrity first then ajuna then remark and then i'll talk about the oak crowd loan which is going to launch today in fact it already launched but there are some disadvantages if you decide to actually contribute through the official web wallet and i'll talk about that later when we get to it uh, so with integrity what is integrity we're going to take a look at that before we look at this tweet uh, we have covered integrity on this channel before, but just in case you're new, just in case you don't know what they are, they are powering a new generation of data-driven services. Let me reject the cookies here. Uh, and so what are they doing? Well, integrity enables individual developers or firms to create platforms that reap the benefits of consumer data without compromising on privacy or running the risk of harmful data leaks. They also allow enterprises with overlapping interests to selectively collaborate on data without ceding control of sensitive business information. And Integrity provides third-party developers with highly scalable Polkadot sidechains that are interoperable with any Web 2 or Web 3 system and can securely process sensitive data. And so basically they're going to try to attract developers to build on their platform just like we have seen with many other parachains. And so as you can see as of september 6th they are they have officially announced that uh, the integrity sdk is now live okay so if you are looking to build they have the hot news here with the integrity sdk uh, you could see they've uh, announced it here on september 8th so just uh, they just released the development toolkit uh, they offer low latency scalability and confidentiality the time is now and you can discover more by simply looking at this short clip here which basically tells you the advantages of developing on integrity now aside from that uh, they have uh, held different contests here giveaways to attract more people to add more users uh, but also attended different events you can see they've attended uh, where they will be attending the one in singapore here uh, this is the one from the 28th 29th of september the one where other polka projects are also going to be attending and so yeah this is pretty much it here that we've got from uh, integrity so uh, this is the reason why i wanted to cover them just to let you know that they have launched their software development toolkit so now developers can develop and now it's more one of those things that you should keep an eye on because once they've got the product now it's just a matter of how they're going to attract those developers and how they're going to attract those users to build on them right because this is the struggle that many projects are facing it's attracting development okay and um, it is going to be a struggle because of the bear market because of the situation not many people are interested but building is happening and so we have to see if they can uh, succeed in that sense right it all depends on uh, the, the type of partnerships they're trying to build how they're going to go about trying to socialize with the, with the right people and try to partner with the right people right and so as you can see here ovh cloud deutschland uh, have partnered with uh, integrity here and there is something exciting coming up soon so you can find out more about that uh, if you check if you follow them okay on twitter uh, looking at uh, Ajuna here, moving on, this is the platform for gaming on Dotsama. Ajuna are going to be on Polkadot, but Jun are going to be on Kusama. I have personally contributed some KSM to Bajun, and so I'm still waiting for them to launch. But as you can see here, Ajuna have announced that they've uh, launched, or not, not necessarily they've launched, they have launched, but it's still in development there, SDK okay so you can contribute to the ajuna sdk now again it's not fully complete yet i don't think you can start developing games on them uh, but you can support them if you have as you can see there are three contributors already uh, supporting this sdk likely team members right the core team members but of course other team other people are welcome other developers who want to support them and who want to help develop and so the majority of tweets here from ajuna have been about uh, why they chose the polka dot technology uh, also information on blockchain gaming and why it's awesome to build blockchain games and um, 
yeah, uh, a partnership as well. So on Finality is proud to announce a partnership with Ajuna, a decentralized gaming platform that delivers real value to gamers without compromising on gameplay. As you can see here, uh, working with play to earn, metaverse, VR, etc. So uh, aside from that, as well as the, uh, they're basically doing the same as the other parachain projects. So they're going to attend all these different events to try and spread the word. Uh, but uh, aside from that, yeah, not much is going on. As you can see, they're also going to make an appearance at Token 2049. Uh, for now, we just need to wait, right? Uh, it's The game Mogwai is still not ready yet, so they're still waiting on some more stuff for that before they're going to launch it. I don't know what they're waiting on, to be honest. Uh, but uh, they haven't given us any information here on what's missing before we're going to see the Mogwai game launch. Uh, I know they have put a team together and they're based in Spain at the moment and so we just have to wait and see uh, what they're going to come up with. Uh, but uh, yeah, the Battle Mogs army has started their formation so who knows, maybe it's getting closer and closer or maybe they're just teasing us with different photos with different images and they're still in development. There's still time before they can launch the alpha version although I was told by their CEO that we can expect the game to launch sometime this year. And so it could be any time. They didn't give us any date when, but uh, you can expect it. And so, yeah, just hold your horses, wait for Ajuna, and uh, don't forget that it exists because it's very easy to get lost in translation when there's just so many parachains around, so many doing different things. And if you didn't actually follow them, uh, you should because uh, they are the only ones building cool games on Kusama and Polkadot. So we'll have to see if they can do that, if they really will be building those cool games, if they will have enough funding to do so. And I'm assuming if Battle Mogs does well, then they're going to attract other uh, indie devs. And we're going to see more, more of those uh, game developers on board. Uh, looking at Remark, uh, Remark is pretty much in the same situation as the other parachains. Although they're not a parachain, but they are following kind of the same pattern in this sense, right? They are attending events. Uh, they're basically trying to partner with other people as well to spread the word about Singular about Remark, about Skybridge, but they are still working on Skybridge uh, and we still haven't seen any news about the Chunky Quest. We still need to wait on that. It is September. Uh, we were told by Yuri, the co-founder of Remark, that in the most optimistic scenario, we can expect the Chunky Quests to go live in September and in the most pessimistic scenario in December. And so I'm assuming the optimistic scenario is not going to happen because this uh, September is almost over. I mean, what just 10 days left and so yeah uh, we have to wait and see uh, but other than that Bruno has just been attending AMAs just trying to spread the word pretty much to attract builders to attract NFT creators right on uh, on Remark uh, and so yeah attending events what else do we have here AMAs uh, this is probably the most interesting one up to date and so as you can see here this person here Mislav uh, he's got an app called uh, Get Dev3, uh, which is a low-code blockchain web tree app that allows for uh, the automation um, automation framework. So it's got an automation framework which basically allows you to automate a lot of the processes using blockchain technology. And so they facilitated the way you can, or they simplified, I should say, the way they uh, that you can mint an NFT using their app. Okay, and they're actually showing you a short video here on how you can do that how you can actually connect to the Remark APY, to the Singular APY, and then use that to mint an NFT the easy way. And uh, yeah, this is how it's gonna be. Um, other than that, we don't have much more information here, just uh, a new team member as well from Singular. She's going to speak at uh, an event in Z Zagreb, Art Zagreb, as you can see here. But uh, yeah, not much else, not much else. They're also promoting Everloot, by the way. Everloot uh, have launched their game. I believe it's already launched now. Yeah, they, they, they did launch their game. Uh, now they're just promoting it. And uh, yeah, if you have uh, NFT characters from, uh, you can use them as in-game assets, the warriors, the archers, you know, all the different characters that you can access. Uh, if you had one of those cards and you've minted the NFT to get the warrior with the costume, with the weapons uh, then you can use that okay so check that out i am going to look into that because i do have uh, a warrior myself and i am going to check it out to see how the game actually looks like i know that a lot of people have been uh, telling me about this and that i should check it out and i haven't followed in quite some time so it's time to check to see how it actually looks 
uh, but Everloot is one of their most, uh, let's say, most advanced projects building on Remark, okay? So that's why they're promoting it. And then there's Mushroomtopia as well, but Everloot definitely beats them, right? Uh, in terms of, uh, of design and how it actually looks and uh, what they're trying to do. Uh, the fact that you can actually do quests on it, right? That's also a big plus. Uh, next, let's talk about the Oak Crowd Loan. So the Oak Crowd Loan is going to launch. And although you can contribute, you can see people have already contributed here directly using the wallet by pushing the contribute button, entering the amount and submitting that transaction, signing it. Uh, 7,233 dot have already been contributed out of 150,000. I am going to contribute later on today because in 10 hours and 43 minutes, you can actually use the bonuses. Okay, so don't contribute now because if you can contribute, if you contribute now through Polkadot.js, you are not getting the bonuses, right? Think about the 5% referral bonus. Again, if you want to contribute, please use my referral bonus from, from my referral link from the description of this video and from the pinned comment. And uh, if you want to uh, get early bird bonuses, they will likely have some early bird bonuses as well. So let's just wait and see what they've got coming. 10 hours and 43 minutes. Again, do not contribute using Polkadot's web wallet because you are not getting any bonuses if you do that. You're just getting the base reward. So why miss out when you can wait and then contribute, okay? So yes, please use my referral link. Wait for 10 hours and 42 minutes, 43 minutes. Uh, to pass and then start contributing if you want to take advantage of all the bonuses and maximize your rewards. That's been it from today's short video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.